Mike Beaton here with Carly Wagner, and I guess patience is a virtue here. Uh, you get a lot, got a lot of attention this time around. Uh, so just tell us, you've had a couple of games under your belt. Uh, what does it feel to be playing in your future college venue? Uh, it's very comfortable. I love the environment here. Uh, our crowd was incredible, and um, every time I walk onto the floor, I feel just very comfortable, so it was fun. Now, how much are you in the know about this cheer out? Because the fans were quiet until the 12th point, and then they erupted. What's the story behind that? Uh, actually, one of the games this season, there was a game where our crowd was just silent, and we were playing Fairmont until the 12th point, and when they hit the 12th point, it was just it was deafening in the gym, and they've kind of made it a tradition now at games, so it's pretty cool. So you weren't uh, aw made aware of this? It just You just noticed this? I didn't even notice it, <laughs> honestly, but uh, I didn't know they were going to do it this game. Now, you didn't have the strongest of tournament runs in terms of efficiency. Mm -hmm. Your shots really struggled in the first half of yeah. yesterday's game and this game. But how do you keep getting through that? Because uh, we, we just saw you keep shooting the ball whenever you had an opening. Yeah, um, that's what my coach and teammates told me to do and wanted me to do. So um, just kept putting shots up. You got to have a short memory, you know, just shoot through it. And uh, hopefully the, the ball will find the bottom of the rim. How did you get through those last two minutes? Because it seemed like it was taking forever. Oh. Kenyon was around close enough. It turned into foul and chase, and yeah. you were missing a few free throws at the end. So how do you keep your composure through a grueling two-minute stretch? Uh, just stick together, you know, try to play good defense. Um, try not to fall, but we kept falling, obviously, and stuff. But uh, just, just keep your confidence up and keep playing the game, not worrying about it. No, you're not worried about numbers specifically, but what does it mean to be one of just two players in Minnesota high school history to get 1,000 points or more in a season? Um, right now, it means absolutely nothing to me. This this victory is so much sweeter, and uh, this run we've had is is indescribable and so much better than the, the record. And which of the two titles, uh, if you can even rank that, like which one do you cherish more? Are they equal or just what kind of pros, cons, differences, similarities between titles one and two? Uh, this one's a lot more emotional, I think, just because it's uh, the senior year and everything and just coping with that you're not coming back next year, you're not putting back on the, the Panther uniform mostly, but this one's a lot more emotional for sure. And how did this run kind of em help you, mold you guys into role models because I was told you've been grand marshals at parades, yeah. birthday parties, uh, really captivating this new Richland community. How do you embrace that? Um, you know, we just take it one step at a time and our community just, they give us so much confidence and stuff and look up to us and we appreciate it so much, but I hope they know that we couldn't have done it without them. So they're a huge part of it. And anyone you want to say hi to that will be watching this online as you get ready to switch from red and black to maroon and gold? Uh, to my whole family and everybody and um, to a little girl that's special to me. Her name's Mila Budak and she was sick and couldn't come today. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Mila. Your sisters did too, and most of the community did. Uh, congratulations, Carly, and uh, I know your Gophers teammates were watching. It's going to be fun to see you uh, back here in November. Um, you're going to keep the same number? No, uh, Shane Mullaney's number oh, that's three. Right, so. she's three. Yep, I'll come back as 33. There you go. <laughs> Just add a three on. <laughs> makes sense, or a 3.3 maybe, but that I don't know. If, I don't think they allow decimal points. But no. uh, congratulations, uh, well deserved victory, and uh, go celebrate and retweet all of those congratulatory messages later. Thank you.